In this video, I'm going to show you 10 summer niches that are selling right now on Amazon. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005 and I want to help you to learn how to do that as well. If that's something you like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 summer niches that are selling right now on Amazon. And the way that I'm gonna show you that they're selling right now is to look at the BSR. So every product on Amazon has a BSR. And what BSR stand for are best seller rank. And the best seller rank is a number. And uh, if you look at that number, the lower the number, uh, it means that they're selling more and more products on Amazon. So for example, uh, bestseller rank of one is the best selling product in Amazon right now. Of all the products, uh, they get one and then it goes up from there. So the lower the number, the more it sells on Amazon. So uh, typically I want to look for, when I'm selling t-shirts at least, I want to look for a BSR number of 500,000 or less. Uh, that means that it's probably selling right now. Uh, if you get lower than that, like in the 20,000s, that means it's selling a lot right now. And if you can get sub-1,000 uh, rank on a t-shirt, that means you're selling a ton of t-shirts. If you ever see a BSR rank on a t-shirt that has less than a 1,000 BSR rank, that guy or whoever's selling that um, guy or girl is making a lot of sales on that t-shirt. Just It's probably selling, I don't know, 50, 100 times a day, something ridiculous like that. So, so you're gonna see on my page that my BSRs are right below the products and that's because I'm using a plugin called DS Amazon Quick View. I have a link in the description for that. It's a free Chrome plugin that anybody can use and you can see the BSR ranks for each product. It basically just pulls it up and shows it right there instead of you having to go into the product description itself or the product page itself. So. Uh, lots to see in this video. You're going to want to stay till the end so you can see all 10 niches. I'm going to share with you at the end just a whole list of those. I'm going to show you as well. These are going to be really big niches. And I'm going to show you at one time how to niche down and find something more specific. So these are going to be really broad niches, you know, like Father's Day. So you don't want to do a t-shirt that says Father's Day. You don't want to do a t-shirt that just says it's summer or whatever. I'm going to show you um, how to niche down, how to go down from the bigger niche into finding something more specific so that you have a better chance of making a sale. So of course, you're going to want to stay till the end to see all the 10 niches as well as another edition of trend credits. So let's get started. So for niche number one, I have this uh, sunflower t-shirt. These are just 10 niches in random order. There's no way to tell which one's the top niche, summer niche. Um, uh, well, there probably is, but I'm not gonna go that deep into the data. I'm just gonna look at uh, BSRs and see if there are some low ones. So these are in no particular order. Sunflower isn't like the number one selling summer shirt. I just want to make sure that you're aware of it. In fact, these 10 are random. They may not be the top 10, but these are 10 that are selling. So let's take a look at this Sunflower t-shirt. Look at these low BSRs. You can see 20,000. This one's above 500,000, but 55,000, 119,000. These are making sales right now. Sunflower tees, look at these, 9,000, 29,000. So these are doing really well. Let's take a look at that. So sunflower tees, you may not uh, think of doing sunflower tees for summer. They might think of it for spring, but they do really well during the summer as as you can see here with the BSRs, they're doing a lot of sales, a lot of low um, BSRs to prove that they are selling on Amazon, right? Um, I'm gonna show you just with this one. I'm not gonna show you on every niche, but these are broad niches, right? So let's take a look at this. Over 10,000 results, right? So you kinda have to niche down. You might not wanna just put a sunflower and that's it. You might wanna put some words or something or do it in a different way. So you're gonna have to niche down and make it something that has less results to give you a better chance of selling. So let me just look at uh, something with some words here. Now you can come up with your own words, right? And do some kind of sunflower phrase, maybe come up with something with the word sunflower in it or sunshine or summer and just put the sunflower in there. That could work too. Let me show you one that's on here that uh, could work. Well, let's look at this one right here. In a world 
full of roses be a sunflower. That's a phrase that has sunflower in it. it makes sense to put the sunflower there. Uh, this is just one of them. I'm gonna show you what can happen when you do something that's a little niche down that's not so broad. So let's go in here. Um, in a world full of roses, be a sunflower t-shirt. You can see that's the one we saw. Take a look at these low BSRs. They're still low BSRs, right? These are all saying the same phrase now, but they're still getting some sales, right? So that's how you can kind of niche down, make your own um, version of this or make, uh, you know, find a phrase that is very popular. Maybe it's a phrase that's popular on the internet, but not popular on Amazon yet. You could try that out or make your own phrase with the word sunflower in it. Lots of different ways to do this. This is just a way to kind of niche down and get uh, something that's more specific. You can see this has only 900 results now, so it's a lot smaller. So that's kind of what you want to do when I say niche down. Take these big topics that I'm going to share, these big niches that I'm going to share, and kind of niche down into something more specific with less results, less competition. And if you can do your own phrase that nobody's come up with, you know, the competition is just you, just one. So that's really small. So that could be really, really good for you there. So that's how you niche down. I'm not going to show you how to do that on all these niches, just this first one. So let's get through the rest of these nine niches. I know I spent a lot of time on Sunflower. It's not really the most important one, but it is one of the 10 and you can, you can do it. So this is your summer niche number one, a Sunflower t-shirt. So your summer niche number two is this camping t-shirt. So take a look at these camping. Now, again, this is a huge niche. You're going to have to niche down, but over 20,000 results. But take a look at these BSRs, super low. Look at this one, 2,000. So really low. Lots of different ways to do camping t-shirts, right? You got happy camper, you got the RV camper, you got some phrases here. So think of a good way to kind of niche down and look at these. National parks is a good one. Um, you know, funny things like that. Happy campers, I go to make sure that it's uh, not trademarked though. I'm just showing you what people are here. So you're gonna have to check on these phrases yourself, uh, U USPTO, right? Um, but look, some really funny, funny does really well on Amazon, but some funny uh, camping t-shirts with low BSRs, which means they're selling right now. You got the s'mores, funny thing there, um, you know, Camping dad for Father's Day, kind of mashing up Father's Day and camping. Could have camping mom, camping uncle, camping family, you know, camping life, the mom here. So uh, have fun with this one. Do a lot of camping t-shirts this summer and hopefully get a lot of sales. So your summer niche number three is this beach. And I'm putting beach graphic here just so you can see some of the graphic t-shirts. If you just do beach t-shirt, you may not see all the different uh, graphical t-shirts. You may just see like a blank t-shirt or, or other kinds of t-shirts. So I wanted to put graphic in here. You don't have to, but you can see even with beach graphic t-shirt, there's 30,000 results. So Pete, there's a lot of people looking for beach graphic t-shirts uh, and as a result, low BSRs, right? Because they're selling. So take a look, very low BSRs, um, lots of different ways to do beach shirts and they do well during the summer because people love to go to the beach during the summer and be on vacation and things like that. And so they love to wear t-shirts with that on their on the t-shirt as well. So you can see here, salt water heals everything. Here comes the sun. Life's better at the beach. You can see all these beach themes. Um, beach puns, right? Resting beach face is a pun. Beach vibes, beach bum. Again, check these phrases if they're uh, trademark on USPTO. So, um, but just to show you, there's lots of different ways you can do beach stuff. Um, North Shore, other beaches, bring on the sunshine. Doesn't necessarily say beach on there, but you can put it in the tags here. It's probably in, in the description or something about beach on there. So you can see beach is a big one for the summer. So that is your summer niche number three, beach. So for your summer niche number four, I found this hiking and I'm putting hiking graphic just so you can see uh, the different graphic t-shirts on here. If I just did hiking t-shirt, you might just see uh, plain t-shirts that you can use while you're hiking. So this is more uh, what we're looking for. You know, 
uh, very related to the camping niche. You can see this one, camping and hiking kind of go together, another camping one, but look, this one is specifically take a hike, take a hike, um, plays outside, another thing for um, hiking. Let's see, mountains is a good one, think outside, you know, another, it's another mile and a half or so, right? Just a funny, I hike that, so I'd, I'd hike that, right? So lots of different ways, take a hike is a good one. So think about outdoors, think about hiking, mountains. So mountain, hiking, camping, all those things are kind of related for this niche, uh, your summer niche, number four, hiking. So for your summer niche, number five, it is the lake uh, graphic t-shirt or the lake t-shirt, lake niche. Um, you can see here, I put in graphic again, just so we have a better uh, feel for what it looks like. Lake life, lake is better, uh, life is better on the lake. Look at these low BSRs, they're selling, right? Um, wake and lake, uh, Camp Crystal Lake. So lots of lake stuff, of course, because people that can't go to the beach, maybe don't, don't live on the coast, can go to a lake. So this is kind of their beach, right? Lake life, Crystal Lake. Uh, I think that's actually from a movie. You might want to stay away from that one. Um, but you can see a lot of, a lot of things here lake my day instead of make my day so puns lake vibes so lake bum lots of lots of things like that uh, this is your niche number five lakes so for the summer niche number six i found this grilling t-shirt so take a look at these results not very high for a big niche like that so it's going to be pretty easy to niche down uh, take a look at some of these though um, the reason why I think this is really popular is because it works for Father's Day, it works for summer, uh, and you know people love to do both, and so you can kind of mash those together too. So you're going to see a lot of Father's Day grilling kind of thing, daddio of the patio, grill father. This one is not specifically for dads, but uh, also in the grilling. So take a look at this, dad grilling, American flag, 4th of July, people love to grill, so that's another one where you can kind of mash up things together so take a look at these bsr super low right so if you're not doing a grilling t-shirt design make sure to put that on your list for the summer uh, these can sell all through the summer and people grill you know until it gets super cold and some people even are hardcore and grill all year long so it could be an evergreen for some some of them take a look at these to get some ideas maybe come up with a idea of your own uh, do a design of your own here too for grilling so so grilling is your summer niche number six so for your summer niche number seven i found this boating t-shirt you can see even less results There's only six thousand results but take a look at these bsrs we saw beach we saw lake of course what can you use in both of those boats so take a look um low bsrs right these are boat captain uh, this is sub hundred thousand, right? Life is better on the tune at the platoon on the it's a boat, right? Um, platoon boat on the lake again, docking the boat. Look, just tons of stuff. Kayaks is part of it in there. It's not. It's like a small boat, I guess, um, but it's on there. So different puns. Captain Awesome, Captoon instead of platoon. So like puns all over the place. If you can do some funny things for boats my boat my rules right life is better on the boat look at these low bsrs they're selling right now on amazon you got to get on top of these right um, lots of different ways to do boat t-shirts so boat t-shirts is a good one during the summer um, and you don't want to miss on this one so this is your summer niche number seven boating so for your summer niche number eight, I found this fishing. So another thing you can do at the lake on a boat, you can see how these are all related to the summer. Take a look at these BSRs. Look at that, 3,000 BSR. This one is selling like crazy. Uh, this one, 9,000. This is another one that you can mash up with Father's Day as well. So fishing, uh, American fishing or 4th of July fishing, American flag, you can see that. Um, real cool dad, right? Uh, Father's Day, low, low BSRs. So take a look at that. If you're not doing any fishing shirts, make sure to add that to your list. Look at these. Look at these low BSRs. Like 
Uh, funny stuff does well too, so make sure to do some funny puns or funny phrases that relate to fishing. So these are doing really well. You can look further and further, just um, niche down again, like I said, for all of these. these is the, this is the big niche, fishing. You can niche down and find something more specific with less results, less competition, and give yourself a better chance of selling on this niche, this summer niche, number eight, fishing. So for your summer niche number nine, I found this biking. And I'm putting biking graphic t-shirt in here again because if you just do biking t-shirt, then you get those you know, quick dry t-shirts and things like that that bikers like to wear. So I'm putting biking graphic so you can see kind of what we could design here. But look at these low BSRs too. This is, this is a topic that people are very passionate about. There's a huge group of people that love biking and they bike uh, when the weather is great, so uh, now summer is a great time to bike. So you're going to see a lot of these. Again, this can be um, paired with Father's Day again, right? Because this, if your father loves to bike, um, it's going to make a great t-shirt. So this is a good one. And this can be a really good one during Christmas, right? Because you got super fans that, that love to bike. And this would make a good present for them, biking t-shirts. So take a look at these super low BSRs, right? You got the vintage sunset design, no words. You got um, funny puns here, psychologists. Um, you got, you know, another funny stuff here. Just lots of different ways you can do a biking t-shirt. Look like the evolution thing. You got this mandala design or whatever you want to call this vortex design. Like so many different ways to do biking t-shirts, right? So this is your summer niche, number nine, biking. So for your summer niche, number 10, I found this soccer. So soccer is a great sport that's played during the summer. There's lots of different sports that are being played during the summer. In fact, there's a lot more summer niches than these 10. These are just 10 that I thought of that have low BSRs. You might want to look for some other ones here, but I wanted to at least put one sport in here because sports, you have lots of people that love to play it. So you got a big fan base, a big audience that you can serve to that people are looking for this Take a look at these BSRs, right? Super low. That means these are selling. Some of them don't have words. You can just have graphics. Uh, the thing you want to watch out for when doing soccer or any sport is to stay away from professional sports. So don't do professional sp soccer leagues. Don't do any um, either here in America or in Europe. You want to stay away from that. You want to do something more generic like that's my sister out there playing soccer, right? That's not a soccer team. Stay away from team things. Those are copyrighted. Uh, your design can be pulled down from Amazon and you could lose your account there. So um, take a look at these just just as generic. You also want to stay away from soccer players. So if you have any famous soccer players, um, don't put their name, don't put their picture, don't put their likeness on here, right? But you can do very generic soccer things and they do really well. Look at this, still low BSRs, right? Still selling here, peace, love, soccer, very generic, not talking about a player or a team. So you want to stay away from like Adidas and stuff. These are, you know, can't, that's copyrighted, right? So coach, very generic. Um, luckily, we're not seeing any soccer teams on here. But I think if I just did soccer t-shirt, you might see that. But you can see uh, still selling here. Again, stay away from Mickey Mouse. Let's take a look. Uh, this may be a soccer logo. I'm not so familiar, but it says Holland Soccer. Um, I'm going to guess that might be the logo. So don't do logos for teams. Uh, play soccer. I mean, something generic like this. I don't think this is, you know, the Italian team logo. If it is, then stay away from that. But it, it's just saying... Italia and they tag in at soccer and they putting the flag in that you know that's kind of on the line but I think that that might pass but if you're doing the exact soccer logo or people that are on the team or, or things like that then you might get in trouble so um, not sure if that's the team logo or colors or whatever if that is right there um, then I would stay away from that but you can do some some generic stuff like this so Hopefully that's really helpful for you. I know a lot of people are like, can I not do any sports at all? Like you can do sports, just you can't do famous sports. You can't do national uh, sports or even I would stay away from even high school or um, college sports, right? Don't put those sports names on there, but you can do generic stuff that says soccer. You can do, you know, like this. So there's lots you can do with sports still and you can still see that they do sell. 
I mean, they may not sell as well as some of those other ones when people want to buy team sports stuff, but they still sell on Amazon. So you don't have to stay away from sports completely. Just stay away from things that are copyrighted or trademarked. So that is your summer trend number 10, soccer. So here are all 10 summer niches that I found. Of course, there's more than these. Uh, these are just the 10 that I found really quick um, that you can use when you're designing your summer t-shirts this summer. Uh, these are the 10 sunflower, camping, beach, hiking, lake, grilling, boating, fishing, biking, and soccer. Um, do these, uh, remember these are the big niches, you're gonna have to niche down and um, find something with a lot lower competition or come up with your own uh, phrase for these that may not have any competition as well, but make sure there's something that people actually are looking for or wanna buy. So you you can you know play with that. Um, again, these are just 10 of them. You can find more of these, but I would start with these if you don't know what to do. If you're stuck and not sure what to design, here are 10 ideas right here that should get you through all the summer um, until we get to more holidays like back to school and Halloween and Thanksgiving. Uh, these you can do all the way till then. So have fun with these. Um, let me know in the comments if there are some other ones that I missed. Um, I think these are probably the major ones, but I could have missed some other ones. There's some other sports out there, some other summer activities I'm sure out there that people like to do and buy t-shirts for. So Thanks so much for staying till the end. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you and your reward for staying all the way to the end is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying to the end for this trend. Here is your trend. I thought I would find one in one of those 10 summer niches and here's the one about the lake, right? I niched down, you can see only 181 results and it is IP in the lake. Take a look at these BSRs super low well some of them are super low that one's low these are not so low but i'm guessing they're gonna get lower um take a look at some of these you know they are selling uh there's another one that's kind of low here let's take a look at merch informer it's getting an a so you know it's good if you don't have merch informer uh you can find a link in my description for merch informer where you can check competition and do all these other things i talk about it a lot so if you uh, want to get it uh, link in the description there let's take a look at this trend again ip in the lake you can do this you know ip at the beach or whatever or you can do some other lake designs this is just one you can see there's lake life lake mode all these things come up with your own funny lake uh, design or a phrase that you can do for t-shirts this is you know like i said this is some one way that you can niche down in the bigger niche of lake so Hopefully this is uh, good for you here. This is your trend for this video, IP in the lake. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video was really helpful for you. I mean, I showed you 10 niches and that they're selling with the BSR. So lots of good data there to show you that these things are actually selling on Amazon. So hopefully you're selling on Amazon. If you're not, they could work for some of the other print on demand sites. It's not a guarantee, but these are very popular niches um, for summer anyway. So I believe they'll work on Redbubble or TeePublic or any of those, you know, as, as far as you can niche down, just search on there as to see if, you know, so a certain lake design is selling or a certain beach design. I'm sure uh, people are looking for those kinds of things as well, just because they're popular activities during the summer. So hopefully this was really helpful for you. And if it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. I have one down in the corner right here to make it easy for you. And before I leave, I have a question of the day. And the question of the day is this, what activities do you like to do in the summer? Think about that, leave that in the comments and hopefully one of those activities, if they're not covered here in the top 10, they could be another trending uh, summer niche. So think about that. That's why I asked that question. If I'm missing something, um, put that in the comment there. So thanks again for watching. And if you wanna see more videos about different niches, click these videos right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.